Hello and uh, welcome. I have got my little travel set here that I want to test out. So this little set is one of these little tins that I have um, given you the link to on um, a previous video. I have put in my Holbein paints. So colour wise, I have got Jean Brilliant, Yellow Ochre, Mars Violet, Sepia, Pebble in Maroon, Olive Green, Cobalt Blue, Bright Rose and Payne's Grey. Those are the only Holbein, Holbein paints that I have. So I wanted to put them all into one palette, which is what I've done. Um, so these are full pans that I've used in here. They've got little magnets on the bottom. I've got a art graph uh, soft carbon pencil. These are water soluble in case I need it. I've also got three water brushes. So this one is very fine. I don't know. There we go. This one's really fine if I want to make some very fine lines a bit like a rigger almost and then this one's got a bigger nib and then this one is a small flat so those are the three water brushes that I they do fit in here um, I do have to put one slightly on the wonk or diagonally <laughs> however we want to say it um but they will all um fit in and then what i've done is i've taken this little palette you can find lots of these small little very slim not much bigger than a credit card um you can find them on amazon and etsy etc i've put a couple of magnets on the back because then magnetizes to this lid and doesn't go anywhere and I've also put a couple of magnets on the bottom of this sponge <laughs> click click um, because then I can use that instead of taking a tissue out with me so this I'm thinking is quite a nice little setup um, you can't actually close the lid unless you get this in a particular position, but then you can. So, um, so it does move about slightly, even though it's got the magnets on it. So I'm going to be playing with these colours today. I won't be using the water brushes because I'm in the, um, studio. I've got my Moleskeen. Um, watercolour sketchbook out um, this is I think this is 200 GSM and it's got a slight texture to it and this is what's going to give me my inspiration today painting calm connect to nature through the art of watercolour so um, I have bookmarked this page here and um, I quite like the idea of building these up on the page and as you can see it's winter. Winter is my season, I'm a Sagittarius um, but I quite like the I, I like the colourways of of these leaves so that's what I'm using um, it's in the foliage section of this book I did do a review on this book uh, a little while back so um, if you're interested you can see me flip through um, what's lovely is that the um, artist shows which colors have been used so in this one, it's basically Payne's Grey. 
and it's just been really watered down to make um but i think i might use a couple of colors from here or maybe even three let me see we will see so i will move that out of the way so is that we have got a full view of the sketchbook bring some water in and a brush i think i will use my escoda perla size 10 and let's get going mixing first i think um i have got Payne's gray here now you'll notice that i've got greens in this um little palette here i'm not bothered <laughs> um i never clean my palettes or hardly ever anyway i'm just adding the Payne's gray in there i don't mind if it's got a little bit of the um blue uh green sorry then i'm going to do a slightly lighter Payne's gray so we'll just mix all that in makes life so much easier i want uh, maybe it to be a little bit bluer so i'm going to add some of the cobalt blue in there because i want just a slightly different tone so there we've got it slightly bluer and then i want one that is a lot paler i don't know what's going to happen but i'm going to add the sean brilliant oh yes then we get this kind of creamy gray color so we've got three different tones there going on um i might try some of the let's just get that mixed in a bit the cobalt blue with the jean brilliant and see what happens oh there we go we get a a kind of more bluey gray so now we've got four different tones going on that i can use for my leaves so because i'm right handed i'm just going to twist this round a little bit and we are going to start with our first leaf so we want a nice kind of round shape or oval more of an oval and we want that little stalk to come down and over the top of that i'm going to use the one that had got a bit of the cobalt blue in and i'm literally going to do another leaf and let that cross over so it's just in fact i might just dip a little bit there let's just add a little bit of that cobalt blue in there and let it do its thing right so we need we need some more stalks coming out in order to get some more leaves going so now let's use some of our gray mixture and let's get you let's get you going there what i might do is go across the page <coughs> sorry bottom me let's Let's have a really dark Payne's grey one now, just to do some offset it a bit. Oh, 
I'm just adding a little bit of another colour in there. Okay, now let's go with our maybe lighter blue one and we'll just let that overlap a little bit like so. There. So I think that looks quite pretty. We may need I think we might need a little bit more colour going on there, like so. Right. And it doesn't matter that they're all bleeding into each other. That's not that's not a problem. I'm just gonna keep adding blue and Jean Brilliant and Payne's Grey and and basically I'm, I'm just going to be coming up with lots of variations of those mixtures of colours. I'm just going to cross over the page here. There we go, so we've got an even different tone. I think we might need one coming up here. Maybe a small one. Like so. Okay, let's go with our kind of grey. And we'll have that one like that. Perfect. Let's maybe go even bluer and we'll have one coming out there and maybe we can just have that stalk going down like so so it's creeping up and over uh, let's go for a dark one again and we will get one in there. And perhaps go even darker over here and maybe we'll have that one coming up. Like so. Um, I quite like that light blue with the Jean Brilliant in it. So let's mix a bit more of that up. And which way should we go like that? Like so. Uh, and then we need to go a bit more this way, don't we? So let's a bit of a darker grey, maybe. And just by sticking with these same colours, you can see that we Maybe we have a little stalk showing on that one. I think we almost need something overlapping here, don't we? Let's add a bit more blue in there. And perhaps we'll come across and over. And we're just gonna I'm just gonna let it overlap.
Right. Let's have a bit of a lighter grey going on. Okay. And a bit darker maybe. Oops, we will just have that one with a little stalk on it. Going off the page. Like so. Do I want one in there? Or do we quite like that blowing up and over? I think I quite like it. So, <clears throat> this is my inspiration, but I'm doing my own thing by adding different colours in there. So I've used Payne's Grey, Cobalt Blue and uh, Jean Brilliant and various mixes of. And you will see that some of them are bleeding in. It doesn't matter if you look here we've got some that are bleeding into others so that's all fine but next I need to let that dry so, so I can get some more of the stalks in there so um, let's just pause while I dry okay yep that's just about dry now and Although in here we've just got the Payne's Grey being used to kind of put a few veins into the leaves, um, much like I've used different combination of colours, I've decided to go across the page, um, I'm going to use the Schmincke Aqua Bronze in rich gold that I've already mixed up in my little tub and I'm going to use well I'm hoping this will work anyway this Pro Art Proline size zero and it's a little rigger brush um, because I want to use that to get the some details in and I just think that that will be quite nice so we don't have to, we can use things as an inspiration um, rather than copying as such, um, you know, to make things our own, in our own style as well. Is that working? That's not terribly good. Okay, let's change to what have we got here? We've got a little number six that looks like it goes into quite a fine point. So let's get this mixed up a bit more and try again. I prefer that that's better right at the moment that will be quite um you won't be able to see that that well until it kind of dries We're just, I'm not doing all the way down or all the way up the leaf um, necessarily. I'm just maybe going more kind of halfway on some of them.
you could use a gold pen yes you could use something else other than what I'm using you don't have to use this medium and I think what I would like to do is add some little gold dots here and there circles and maybe some smaller ones it might give it more a feeling of movement I think we're just going to do that. Yes, like so. Now I just want that to dry and then see if I want to do anything else or whether that's enough. So I will bring this up, but uh, the aqua bronze didn't work as well as I was hoping. So I've got a gold uniball signal pen. I've got a white uniball signal pen. And I've also got a Caran d'Ache Luminance in dark indigo here. Um, so I think I want to make a little bit more of an emphasis of some of these lines so I'm just going over some of this because I don't feel that it came out that well and I think that that's starting to look a little bit um, better. Don't know if the white will show on here. Oh, I don't know. It does. Well, I think that is slightly better by just using a little combination of those. So here we go, there is our finished paint calm winter leaves or winter foliage but we haven't copied as such. I've kind of made it into something that's mine, that reflects my style a little bit more. So I hope that that gives you an idea of how you might want to take something and make it a little bit more yours. Now you could do something much smaller, just take a small part and make um, a little card or a postcard. Um, you know, I've just done this in my sketchbook to give me an idea so that I could then take that further and make it into something. So um, I hope that that has been um, a little bit of fun. I hope that you like my idea. Well, I'm really quite proud of myself for um, coming up with this, this idea. Um, it's just nice sometimes to work with different colours. So have a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. Stay calm, stay safe and stay healthy. Until next time. Bye for now.